Hello there. Welcome to this video performing Arduino IDE setup. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Arduino hardware. So, I'll give you a quick introduction. I'll hand walk you through the Arduino Uno. You know. So, you're going to take a look at the different parts in the board. You're going to take it the number of pins. You're going to take a good look at what is available on the board. I'm also going to take you through step by step procedure to download, set up the software install the drivers and do a quick test. Arduino you know is one of the most sought after development board when you want to get started with electronics, IoT and coding. This is a microcontroller based development board. It has an Atmega 328P chip on it and it has a wonderful easy to use IDE called the Arduino IDE and it works seamlessly with it. Now this board can be used to learn the fundamentals of electronics, the fundamentals of IoT, you can play with sensors, you can start learning coding and all of that. Now when you're ready to get connected to the internet, you would need an external Ethernet or a Wi-Fi shield. Arduino also has other IoT based products which you can use directly to connect to the internet like Arduino Yun. It also has Ethernet and Wi-Fi shields. For a complete list of products, go to www.arduino.cc. You're currently actually looking at a Arduino Uno R3 board. All right. Now the first thing is how to connect your computer to program and to rewrite your software and so on. That would be using your USB right about here. This port is also used for powering your device. You also have another way to power your device, which is using your 9 volt or 12 volt DC supply using a wall adapter. All right. Now, let's take a look at some of the components here. The first thing I would like to highlight is your Atmel chip here, which is your Atmega 328P. You also have another chip about here, which is also Atmel, and that does the job of converting your USB from your computer to serial to the chip. All right. Also, there are a set of active and passive components. For example, you have your capacitors here, you have your resistors here, you have voltage regulators, and so on. So if you see, the resistors are really small, and some of the capacitors also are really small. So these are all the SMD components. Now you also have a reset button here. We will talk about this a little bit later. Now coming to the actual pins, you have your 14 digital pins starting here, 0 to 13 about here. That makes it 14. And you have your ground pin here. You also have a reference pin here. More about these later. On your left hand side, you have your analog pins. So analog pins go from 0 to 5. And on top, you see we have V in ground 5 volt, 3.3 volts reset. So you can use your 3.3 volts and 5 volts to supply external. LEDs or any other device you like to power. Now this is the landing page for Arduino. Now, you can do a lot of things. You can buy Arduinos. You can learn about them and so on. Now what we need to do is we need to download the IDE software and we need to install it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to download the software. So you go to software. You come down and find the download build here. Download the Arduino, you got different OS's, now yours is going to be Windows, so go ahead and click on the Windows. That's it. If you want to contribute, very good. You're going to be downloading when you say just download, and you can save it. There you go. For me, it's going to take 50 seconds. For you, it might take more or less, depending on your speed. All right, it's done for me. It took almost about the same time as it suggested. Now I'm going to run it. All right, it's going to say read your license, so go ahead and read it and say agree. And you want to install all these drivers, say next. This is the path, say OK. And now it's going to go through a process. It doesn't take much time, so I'll keep you updated. It's been about a total of two minutes. There you go, it's almost done. And Arab Fruit Industries, yep, we need this, so go ahead and install it. Or with a USB driver, yes, install it, yeah. So say yes to everything because we need all these drivers. All right, so there you go, it's all it. 
or we repeat it not much uh, of an issue here no errors as such close it that's it now let's go and find out if it's working so I'm gonna go to my desktop let's go to my desktop there you go so you see your Arduino icon so go ahead and click on it and this is your Arduino IDE of course you can make it large and there you go so I'll give you a quick walkthrough of this the first thing is that this is the entry point and this is where you write your code in Arduino IDE all the code you write all the programs you make are called as sketches so you might want to get used to that lingo it's called a sketch all right so you have a couple of tabs here very basic so you have a file so you can create a new sketch so whatever sketches you create are going to be a part of a sketchbook and to make it easy for you they also give you examples so these examples are very important for us because they help you to get started and also there's a reference for different things you want to do now if you come to sketch you're gonna have functionality called include library so this is where you can include libraries for different pieces of code or if you want to talk to a specific component so the component manufacturer would give you a library so that you can communicate with that component and similarly if there's a platform or a service and they want you to communicate with them in a certain way then they're gonna give you the libraries to communicate with them and also it makes the developers job much easy you can also manage your libraries from here all right now once you write your code it's a two-step process one is you're going to verify and then you're going to upload this sketch into your Arduino board let's see how to connect your Arduino with a USB and it's going to install a driver and then we will run a small test code or a sketch all right now I'm going to connect the USB cord to my Arduino and to my computer. Okay, now we see that the software is trying to be installed. So there you see, and uh, you also see here, so we can say, okay, perfect so now the software is installed now very good now let's go and open up your IDE there you go now if you notice your board there are two LEDs currently glowing one is a green LED and another one is the orange LED the green LED is basically your status LED which is on the board it tells you the board is on and it's getting supply and the orange LED is actually connected to pin 13 and a default program is switching on and switching off the LED almost every second now let's go ahead and test the board what we're going to do is we're going to reduce this delay from one second to half a second and we're going to compile the sketch and we're going to upload the sketch so this will test if your sketch is working and if your connectivity to the board is working and if the board is working all right let's get started so for now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use an example so I'm going to go to file I'm going to say examples and I'm going to open my basic blink example all right let's open this up there you go now here you see that by default it says pin 13 so this is what we want to manipulate now if it doesn't say pin 13 go ahead and punch in pin 13 because the LED is connected to pin 13 and that is what we want to control a quick walkthrough of this code is first is we are initializing the pin number 13 to output because we're going to give an output to the pin which is high or low when you give high it's going to turn on when you give low it's going to turn off in the main program in the loop program what we're going to say is we're going to write high to pin 13 and we're going to delay for half a second so i'm going to make it 500 millisecond and then we're going to write a low so it's going to switch off the LED and then wait another half a second all right very simple let's go ahead and compile this so you're going to go and say the verify this is basically if you going to compile it build options change rebuilding all and it's going to quickly say in a minute if everything is okay so done compiling now if you want to learn more about the compiling you can go to file you can go to preferences and the show verbose output you can also tick mark compilation so what's going to do is it's going to show you 
all the entries, or in other words, all the logs which it's punching out. Now I'll go and show you one more time how it looks like when I say compile. So it's going to show you all the files it's using and all the process. All right, very good. Now let's go ahead and upload this. Now I'm going to say upload. Now it shows you all the verbos and it's uploading and very good wonderful now you see that the LED is glowing much faster so that's because the delay is changed to half a second all right congratulations that's a great accomplishment you have set up the Arduino IDE you have connected your Arduino board you also successfully tested your Arduino board way to go in the next video we're going to be getting introduced to the syntax and structures thank you